What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some more Mono Green Tron. And yeah, you can. Or Mono. Ah, green Red. I always do that. All right. Playing some Green Red Tron. This is close. This almost has that Tybalt's Trickery, but mm, we're laying short and we don't really want to. Well. Turn one, Ancient Stirrings. Oh, it's a bad idea, but I'm going to keep. We're going to go for the Ancient Stirrings into the Tybalt's Trickery. Um. It's a really bad idea, but we're going to do it for the lulls. Opponent goes first. Mystic Sanctuary, not really what we want to see here. Oh, but we do get that second land. Very nice. We'll play a tower. Play a Chromatic Star. Because we're still looking for backup Tron here. Temple Garden. Ooh, Cascade. This deck again. I just played this deck. And they get rid of my Chromatic Star. Well, hopefully we can surprise them. Come on, something big. Karn liberated. We got there. Turn two, Karn liberated. What do we want to get rid of? We're going to start by hitting their hand. Yeah, we'll take a card out of their hand. Unfortunately, if they have another Tibbolt, we're in trouble. Or another Cascade Effect, which is essentially the same thing. Ooh, there goes the Tron Land. Unfortunate. And they get in the second Cascade Effect. Oh, no, they go for the chromatic. This is going to be rough. This is not an easy deck to beat, and I've only had played it once, but I've been looking at it, and it is not fun. It's enough combo that Tron's going to have an issue with it. Let me see. What can this get rid of here? Artifact or creature? Well. We're going to try and restart the game. With an Embercle out on the field. We'll see how they like that. They've got one turn to have an answer. They get an Ancient Stirrings. That's a good way to find an answer. Arrow. Well, that's not an answer.
Ancient stirrings, they're digging. Scolding Tarn does not get there. We're going to get our Emrakul. Wow, this is a lousy way to get an Emrakul. Not going to be greedy. Do we keep this? No, don't think we do. We're still looking for... We'll keep that. Three cards. Don't need the big Emrakul. Don't need the Ulamog. Don't need the color source at this point. And that's 15 power on the board. They need a path. Actually, path doesn't even work because this has protection from instance. I think we've got this round one <laughs> in game two. We will swing 15. Ooh, but if they can get their thing out, yeah, that'd be rough. Get tower. We're going to have the warm coil, which may be our finisher. You know, it does let them get rid of the Emrakul, which is unfortunate. I swear, if they can come back from this... Yeah. We'll grab a mine. We've at least got Tron online. Do we? I don't think we can afford to try and go for the kill there, so we'd rather kill that because we wouldn't kill him this turn. And then hope they don't have an answer for the warm coil. If they have another cascade effect, we're going to be at a standstill. Another cascade effect. Yep. And now we have choices. So they can't exile another card unless they have another cascade effect. What are the chances they have another cascade effect? Uh, do we till the tibble or do we try and go for the kill? Uh, we're going to try and go for the kill. But this may be a mistake. I swear, if this deck can't be, or if we can't win with a Emrakul on turn one, this deck needs to be banned. That is way too much power. If 
they've got who is uh, they have our ancient stirrings all right so they're getting a land from the look of it they may be missing no that could could have been any color so they don't think they're missing a color I'm not sure what other colors cards they have things they can find but yeah I think them being at two life is rough scolding tarn they're still playing though oh that's unfortunate yep because that goes back to their hand All right, we need Nugan. Show me the Ugin. Oh, thank you. But it still came down to a top deck. Wow. And if they have a counter spell here. Do they actually have the counter spell? They actually have the counter spell. At this point, they're within range of gut shot. But I don't really think there's anything we can do. They're at one life. What do we really need at this point? Blast Zone? Or would we rather have Sanctum? I think I'd rather have Sanctum. With this much mana out, we just need to draw a threat. A big threat. They get another gut shot. And they can play our worm coil engine next turn. That is the absolutely one card we didn't need to hit here because we don't have another spell to cast. Oops. Did not mean to open that. They're going to win with, yeah, after an Emrakul. Yeah, we've got one turn here to hit something. Do 
Do we have enough? Oh, just enough. We got there. We got there. Okay. By the skin of our teeth, we got there. I swear if this is a path. They can't crack it. Oh, they have a Simeon Spirit Guide. All right. Tap the team. Well, we get the other big boy. And we'll be taking that to Fury and that worm coil. All right, they're still somehow holding on. But we've got both the big guys out. Three cards in hand. They need to answer both permanents. They have six mana. They can't play any more of my threats. What do they have? They're going to go for a Mystic Sanctuary. This is going to get them a little bit of life. And now, wow, the, the, the fact we're still playing this game. I've had like the best possible game I could get. And we're still trying to find a way to get there and hoping they don't recover. And we've got two more games after this. If they can get the Tybalt out, then they can exile one more thing. Okay, we got there. We got there. We'll take the chokes. We'll take some Veil of Summers. Maybe not the veils. They do have counter spells. It's tricky. I haven't figured out sideboarding quite yet with this build. I feel like they're not going to attack our land base, so we'll give this a try. Hmm. If we had a trickery that would be keepable, but nope. It's turn three Tron with no threats, and it's likely too slow. We'll try it, but I don't have uh, hope in this one. I'm, I'm not going to turn away Tron, but yeah, without an answer. This is a rough matchup.
The last time I played this, I lost to an Unmoored Ego game too, so as well. So we're going to try and get our Tron lands out as fast as possible. But we'd be a turn slow even then. Alright, so potentially we have a choke next turn. Getting a phone call. Choke if they go for the unmoored ego. But they could also be about to get a Tybalt. It's a Tybalt. All right. Yep. Well, we're going to go ahead and get our mine. There goes an Ulamog. The good news is we do get to mess with our mana here. So mine, Chromatic Star, Crack for Green. If they have a Force would be the one case we're in trouble. They have the force, do they have it? They've got two islands out, we'll take them down to one mana. And then we can get the Ugin out to answer the Tybalt. It looks like they're gonna have a response. They do have the force, unfortunate. All right, well, we get the Ugin next turn, so we get to clear out the Tybalt to the very least. Let's see what they can cast. They get an Omnath. Are they going to cast the Omnath? Omnath Tybalt, oof. Alright, if they have another force, we're just in trouble, but. They have another force, of course they do. Yep. Three mana, seven. Oh, that is, are they gonna get, no. Yep. I do not like this deck. Play first. Looking for Tron. Still looking for Tron. All right, that is probably going to be a keep. What do we keep? We'll keep tower. We want the choke. We want the expedition map. We want the color source. Which means, yep. Putting Tibble Trickery. I don't like it, but we got to do it. We're a little slow with this.
we have an answer that pretty much shuts down their land base, and I still don't think we have a chance. I don't like this deck. It took a turn two card into a reset the game into an Emrakul into a second Emrakul to get us a, a single game. Grab the power plant. This seems very familiar. Well, we're going to have a lot of mana next turn if this doesn't resolve. Okay, it does resolve, so a little bit of hope there. They exiled a gut shot, but we still need to find a threat. They can get at least the land. I'm okay to see that tower go. We need to find something. Yes, very nice. We'll take it. They found a force. Good to know. The one card they drew off the top was a force. We're two turns away if we draw a big Emrakul. This essentially draws them three cards a turn because they're drawing a card off the top of our deck. All right, they need that mana for something. Is there anything in our deck that they can really do anything with? Gut shot, chromatic. It's only for a turn. Five mana potentially. Oh, are, do, are they going to have a bounce spell? No, they're just going to cascade into a new Tibble. Well, Sylvan Scrying wasn't doing us much good. We just need to find a big threat. I feel like I'm playing against an arch enemy deck. Come on. Extra choke is not what we need. They have potentially three mana. They definitely have three mana this turn. Alright, we'll 
gut shot really wouldn't have done as much. Good, at least and they're helping us dig for the threats. Next turn, we could play Emrakul if we find it. So, big Emrakul, come on. At this point, we've slowed them down, but they're still functioning. And they can just cycle those Tibbles into more Tibbles. And then it exiles this card again, and they can recast it every time. That's, yeah. I guess they'll run out of Tibbles at some point. Most of their islands are dead. So if they don't have any other basics, which may be why they haven't cracked the Scalding Tar and they need to wait till they need the blue. They're cut off of white as well. I don't have a green source, which is troubling. So if they do manage to take me off choke with a Tefiri. Oh, there's my expedition map. All right, come on, big, something big. Oh, uh, the sideboard cards, of course. Three mana, they can, at this point, start doing things if they want to. At this point, it's just a matter of, is it worth it? We can play Emrakul if we get there, which may be our best move, because it will it kills them at the, if they're at 15 life. If we had another green, if we had a green source, Veil of Summer becomes live, which is not bad. I'd almost be tempted to hold up for a green source. Well, there goes my payoff card. That probably would have been the game there. We have the other, do we have the, yeah, we have got the other Emrakul. They're going to take a tower. They're going to try and get Tron. Well, they don't need this and they don't need a color source. They're going to get the Tibble back next turn. Nothing we can really do about that. Actually, no, they didn't put the Violent Outburst in. All right. So not the worst here, then. We're taking them down a land. We're getting rid of their Planeswalker. They may have it in hand to get rid of it. But at the moment, they don't have it with the cards. They're digging. They found something. Four mana, cryptic command. Counterbounce. They 
They don't have a cryptic command in the side. It'd be painful though if they have cryptic command. No, no cryptic. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, and we don't have another green source. So that does free up them for a bunch of mana next turn. Which means I think they actually do have, ooh, Field of the Dead, all right. This, this is literally Omnath running Tybalt, and it's, all right, they need the rule change or something needs to get banned. And there are two cards in this deck I think need to get banned. I know we're like holding in there, but geez. And there is the answer to our Ulamog. And we don't have a green source. Yep. Odds have decently run out here. We don't even have a green source to start playing our cards. Which is the rough part of this build. It does run fewer... Hmm. Emrakul's gone. We've got a few more playable. We, ha we have a lot of playables, but. They're going to start getting zombies. A lot of colored cards, no color sources. This is unfortunate. You hear my cat in the background getting into some stuff. Defiri. Yep. Well, we get this. Let's just start doing this again. We get the Veil of Summer, one of our threats, um, which may be, yep. There's a force. They're just trying to kill us with the zombies at this point. I may get there. I'm at there.
We need a decent threat here. I think we get one more draw. And it's a land. I don't know if they have any way to deal extra damage to us, but... Do we still have an Ugin left in the deck? That's about our only hope at this point. We'll be at one life. Wait, negative one? Hold on. Did they get another land into play somehow? They got another land into play somehow. Yeah, this deck needs to be banned. Thank you for watching. Tectonic Edge, signing out.